everyone welcome to a new video so today i'm going to be telling you guys everything is on my july tbr which is super exciting this month because i have so many good books on here and i'm also going to yalk so there is like two books i'll be trying to read before yalk and i say this today on a day where i'm actually traveling down to london to go to yalk and yalk is in about a day and a half time so yeah well done being last minute as usual really. But I am going to try and squeeze in an audiobook and then a poetry collection so it's not too bad but yes this is all of the books I'm planning to read in July. Very very excited for this TBR so if you'd like to see all of those books then please keep watching this video. Okay so we're going to get straight into it with the first book which is my Patreon body read of the month and I have already started this book and that is My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. So going into this book all I knew about it was that this is a romance and a murder mystery mixed together and and I love murder mystery, I love romance and my favourite type of book ever to exist is a fantasy romance with a mystery in it. So this has two of those things in that I love and not a lot of romance books have like the murder mystery element. So I was really, really excited when I heard Tess Bailey was releasing this because I have read a few of her books now and I really, really enjoyed all of them. I have started this, I am 56 pages into it and honestly so far I'm not loving it. This is giving misogynistic vibes it's giving a pick me vibes for the love interest that's a guy like yeah i'm just i don't know it might get better the murder mystery element so far has like been a significant part but now it's more focused on the thoughts of the main characters on each other but yeah basically this is a murder mystery romance we have our main character i can't remember her name but she and her brother go to this beach house and as soon as she gets there she finds two peephole thingies in her room and she's like oh my god what the heck so then she goes downstairs and she opens the like washing room thing and there's a dead body there so this whole thing is basically about this dead body and it turns out it's the owner of the house and then this bounty hunter strolls into town to investigate it because the victim's sister does not believe that he was the peeping tom or that he was murdered because of that they think it's something else and there's some inconsistencies however the police think it was him who did the peephole thing and uh, it was this guy who he had an altercation with earlier so the bounty hunter comes and he's like oh yeah i probably am gonna agree with the police and then he's like hmm maybe not and then he meets our main character whose name i've forgotten and the two of them instantly have an attraction and yeah that's pretty much it so it's about them kind of solving this murder and i guess also falling for one another so so far not so good but that's not to say this won't turn out to be a good book and yeah i will be filming a spoiler filled reading vlog for this over on my patreon so if you're interested in that the link is down below but yeah this is the book club pick of july so we shall see how it goes Okay, so one of the Yelp books I mentioned is this one here, which is a poetry collection by Nikita Gill. Now, I have read Fierce Fairy Tales and something, I can't remember what it's called, but that book by Nikita Gill, and I love that. I read it for a readathon a couple of years ago now, I think, and I had such a fun time when I read that. It was such a good collection, and I really enjoyed it. And I have very briefly started this. I believe I'm on, like, page eight, which is literally nothing. But so far, I have fallen in love with this poetry collection. It's already giving five stars. This is literally exactly my kind of thing. It's all poems inspired by like the universe. And the way these poems are written, I just love and resonate with them so much so far. I am only eight pages in, but I'm honestly loving this so much. And basically says on the back that Wild Embers explores the fire that lies within every soul, weaving words around ideas of feeling at home in your own skin, allowing yourself to heal and learning to embrace your uniqueness with love from the universe. Featuring rewritten fairy tale heroines, goddess wisdom, a poetry that burns with revolution this collection is an explosion of femininity empowerment and personal growth so yes sounds amazing and i'm loving it so far and the key to Gill is going to be at yelk so i'm hoping she will sign this for me and my other book of hers so yes i'm very very excited to be reading this i shall be reading this on the train to london and yeah i'm hoping the rest of it is as good as it is so far so the next book i'm going to try to read which is for yelk as well is an audio book and that is rebel skies i'll put it on the screen here i don't know too much about this if i'm being honest i know it's inspired i think by japanese like culture and it's like quite like an adventurous story i think it's a teen novel and i'm very excited to read it i saw that the author is going to be at yelk and i thought this book sounded really interesting so the audiobook's not too long so i am hoping that i can get to it but i don't know for sure if i will 
I'm going to attempt it, but I don't have much time between now and then, so we'll see. But I will potentially be listening to this on audio, and I'm excited to, and hopefully go and meet the author if I manage to read the book beforehand. But yes, I am putting on my TBR just in case. Okay, so next we have Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. So this will be a reread for me. If you guys have seen my wrap-up, which I will link up here, if you haven't, I reread Air of Fire last month. Absolutely adored it. Got me back in my fantasy era. I binge read it in like so many days. I just loved it so much. It was so much better the second time around and now I just love this world again and I'm happy to be in it. And this is the Assassin's Blade Throne of Glass Crowd and Midnight Era Fight. Yes, this is the fifth book in the series and I read this for the first time a few years ago now. So I'm excited to go back into it because I honestly don't remember a lot of what happens in here. So it will be kind of like reading it for the first time and I'm just literally so so excited like air of fire was just incredible i am just so excited to see what happens with the characters in here i'm excited to read more from the other characters were introduced in air of fire and just to have a fun time with these characters and this world again i just adore them so so much and i just can't wait to reread this because i honestly can't remember a lot of what happens in here so yeah this is going to be such a fun but probably heartbreaking time and i'm here for it i can't wait yeah i will be reading this hopefully in july and it's quite big but I feel like I can get through this quite quickly just because of how much I love it so yeah I'm hoping I do pick this up during July although it's a very very busy month then next we have Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover which I started I think last month or the month before I'm on page 37 and I just want to try to finish this if I can there are a few books last month that I didn't finish like Made in Korea and Wicked Fox which I may pick up this month but I'm not going to officially include them in my TBR because I don't know but this one I'm going to try to read a little bit more of i'm going to try read up to this first little tab here which will bring me a quarter of the way through this book and yeah so far i wasn't a huge fan on this it's the first colleen hoover book that i've tried to read and i just didn't like the way it kept jumping back into like the past i'm just not really a fan of that and yeah basically this follows um i can't remember the names miles and tate and basically i think tate is staying with her brother and miles is like her brother's friend and they kind of bump into each other he's like going through a breakup i think with like the love of his life apparently and i think the two of them kind of start to develop some kind of romantic feelings for one another and i don't know if this is a toxic relationship i can't remember but i think it's sort of like a heartbreaking romance contemporary kind of story honestly don't know much about it but i thought i'd give it a go at the time so now i do want to try and read a little bit more of it and see if i do want to finish it i know kat read this recently and she ended up loving it and crying at the end and she told me it's worth like giving a go and getting through the first bit of it and then it turns really good so i'm not sure but I'm going to try it and see and yeah, maybe I will read it, maybe I won't, but I am going to add it on my TBR for the month anyway. Then next we have another book which I have absolutely no clue what it's even really about. I just know it's like contemporary romance. It's supposed to be a more kind of mature version of like the summer i turn pretty but not like the love triangle but those kind of vibes like summer vibes beach vibes lake house vibes just those kind of vibes you know what i mean so yeah i bought it because i saw it all over instagram which is this book and it's every summer after by carly fortune i was looking for some more really summery reads and like more like contemporary romance style and this is the one that i've been seeing everywhere so i thought i'd get it and give it a go i do kind of like the fact that i don't know a whole lot about it i think it's kind of like second chance romance i think i think basically we have this girl who left her childhood like town which is very summery i think it's by the lake and she lives in a city now and then one day she ends up having to go back because i believe there's some kind of like death or something and she ends up running back into i think like an old love of hers and then it's like says for five summers through hazy afternoons on the water and warm summer nights working in his family restaurant percy and sam have been inseparable and slowly that friendship turned into something breathtakingly more before it fell spectacular apart and then i think she returns and they kind of rekindle their romance i guess so it's kind of like summer romances and second chance romance it just sounds like it will be a good read and i have seen quite good things about this so I thought I'd add it on to my TBR for July because obviously it's summer. So yeah, we'll give it a go. So next I'm going to add a thriller because I do like to read thrillers during this time of year. I don't know why, but I've been neglecting thrillers for the past couple of years now. I just have not been reading them. 
and I thought I would add one on because I need to get back on my thrillers like I've got so many I want to read so I'm gonna add this one on because I have seen it here and there and I did recently pick this up at the bookstore so I thought I would just add it on my TBR which is in my dreams I hold a knife I believe this basically follows like six different friends and I think there's like an unsolved kind of murder and I think they suspect that one of them actually has something to do with it I think it's set on like a campus i believe i think but i'm not sure yeah it says it has a dark campus setting and a darker look at friendship love obsession and ambition so i just think this sounds really interesting kind of dark academia sounds like an interesting thriller like a whodunit and yeah i've heard quite good things about this so i'm hoping that it is good and it's the right thriller for me to be picking up if i don't end up reading this one or i don't like it i'll probably pick up the latest paula hawkins which i say that it came out last year but it's now just come out in paperback so i might finally pick that up instead but i do want to try to squeeze in a thriller this month so this one at the moment is my current option for that but we shall see then next another romance is twisted love so i've been meaning to read this like series for a while i can't remember which one this is i know vaguely what they're all about but i don't know which one is which i think this is a best friend's sister romance i think if i'm right uh but yeah i don't know much about this and i don't want to know too much about any of these i really would like to go into these not knowing much i feel like i'm going to enjoy the romance a lot better all i need to know is this bit on the front which says he has a heart of ice but for her he'd burn the world that's all i need to know and you've got me wanting to read this book so yeah this is the first book in the twisted series and i believe these are very very good so i'm excited to give the first one a go and see if i enjoy it i really do like romance so i'm hoping that this one's good but i don't know we shall see so next we have this book here which i recently got i think in is it a fairy loot box was it fairy loot yes yeah, so this was in fairy loot's box recently and this is the vicious grace by emily Theed. and this is basically a fantasy a romance and it sounds incredible and i need to read it so basically we have um alessa and she has this ability to magnify her partner's magic and then a swarm of demons comes to like where she lives and somehow she's blamed for like all of it happening the people's like idea to stop all this is to kill her and then they think that this will like fix everything and in order to survive she hires this guy called dante who's like an outcast he's like a killer and he becomes her personal bodyguard so we have the bodyguard trope which we all love yeah i think shit goes down from there and we have romance we have magic and it just sounds really really cool so i'm very very excited to be putting this on my tbr and hopefully reading it because it sounds exactly like my kind of story and this is a gorgeous gorgeous book too i love the medieval vibes can't wait to read it so this next book will be a buddy read and it's one i've been trying to get to for a while and i am also going to be filming a spoiler filled reading vlog for this one as an exclusive for my patrons and i am very excited to be doing that i'm going to be hopefully buddy reading this with my friend m from perfect paperbacks and probably the rest of the series as well but that is guild by raven kennedy this is the first book in the plated prisoner series and i honestly hardly know a thing about this book either i know this is really bad i'm saying it for so many but recently like i've just been looking at the like core tropes in books and a vague synopsis and then deciding if i want to read them because sometimes i feel spoiled when i read a book when i know i'm expecting certain things to happen if that makes sense but i got this a while ago and i know that i'm probably gonna love this this is like one of those series that's on like every fancy romance video or list that you click on so for that reason i know i need to read it i love fantasy romance it's my favorite genre so i know that i need to read this and and there's been so much hype for it recently and i feel like it's one that i'll just get through super quickly so yeah i really do want to read this it says that it's inspired by the myth of king midas and it says with romance intrigue and danger this immersive adult fantasy series is as addictive as it is unexpected so yeah it just sounds like it's gonna be a fun time i'm excited to give this one a read and hopefully read the rest of them as well i do own the next two books in the series and i'm going to be picking up the next one after that soon but i'm hoping to at least read the first one and hopefully i am reading it with m which will be super fun so yes let me know in the comments if you have read the series and you would recommend it i've heard that it's very similar to like scarlet st Clair and kind of like the bridge kingdom and that sort of thing so yeah let me know 
if it is i'm excited though so these next two books on my tbr are total wild cards they are so random but i'm just kind of like gravitating towards them for some reason so i don't know for sure if i will even get to these but i'm kind of like feeling it so we'll see but the first one is the third book i think in the like stalk and jack the ripper series and this is escaping from houdini by carrie maniscalco so i've tried to start this um previously i read the first chapter and i just didn't finish i obviously wasn't in the mood for it basically carrie maniscalco's books are like a murder mystery mixed with like superstition and gothic of vibes and i really really enjoyed the other two books in this series but i love stalking jack the ripper it's one of my favorite books i've read and i love the romance in here between audrey rose and thomas cresswell it's one of my favorite fictional couples and i just love this series it's so good if you like a victorian kind of era gothic setting then you will definitely enjoy this series i just love the era that it's set in and the way things are described i love the characters the banter and the kind of mysteries they're just such fun books so i would like to try and read this one because i do really want to continue with the series and i'm just in the mood to give it a go so maybe i will get to the this month and the other book is this one here which is clockwork angel by cassandra clare so listen me and cassandra clare have a funny relationship i for some reason am obsessed with buying her books and not reading them and yeah i have read the mortal instruments like up until like halfway through that series i've read city of bones like twice i reread it i think in 2020 and i could not physically read it i don't know what it is but i just couldn't i had to audiobook it and then i did for the second and i think the third one and the reason i'm not a big fan of the mortal instruments is clary and jace i just cannot stand them Ugh, disgusting nope 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 and i just do not like the characters i just find them very boring and annoying so i struggle to obviously read a series if i'm not vibing with the main characters but i do want to finish that series but the reason that i'm like not reading a lot of her books even though i own them all <laughs> is because i don't understand the order to read them and there are so many different ways people tell you to read these books and honestly my head can't figure out which way is the best way so i did start reading clockwork angel which is the first book in the infernal devices series which is the series that everyone says is the best and i started reading this last year i think it was i did a reading vlog it's one of my favorite vlogs actually i'll pop it up here and i read this with i think caitlin and i don't know if kat was reading it as well i honestly can't remember but i know caitlin read it and i got up to page 238 and i was like hmm, i'm just gonna put this down for a bit but i would like to now finish it and continue with this series i do want to finally start getting through my cassandra claire books i feel like now is the time i feel like i just need to read this series i feel like a fake booktuber a fake bookseller just a fake book lover not reading this series i know that makes no sense and i know nobody has to read any series to feel like valid but i just feel like i need to read this series like considering i own so many copies of these books from book boxes and i love supernatural creatures and i do really love the world that she has created in these books i figured it's about time i finally start reading them so i am definitely gonna get to this either this month or next month i am hoping i can find a summary for the first bit of the book and then continue reading from where i dropped off but we shall see i was really enjoying this at the time i did like the setting and the writing style but i don't know if this was set in a different era if i'd be loving it as much so yeah i'm gonna give it another go and we shall see maybe i'll start over maybe i'll continue from where i left off last time but i am excited to hopefully dip into the world of the shadow hunters and to finally make progress with this world and series so yeah i'm gonna add it on just in case i do want to read it okay so each month i make a point of adding a translated fiction book to my tbr and i have been managing to read them so the one that i'm adding on this month is a book that's translated from japanese and this is before the coffee gets cold tales from the cafe so i read before the coffee gets cold a few years ago i think that's when it first came out and i listened to it on audio and i did enjoy it it's a very kind of interesting story it's one of those fiction books that has elements of fantasy to it so for example this is about a cafe that you can travel back in time in and yeah that's kind of like fantasy but it 
it isn't in these books and it's very emotional the first one and i really want to read the next one which is this one and i've had this on my shelf since it came out i think i was actually sent this but i've just never gotten to it so i figured this would be a good one to finally read i did enjoy the first one and i'm hoping i do for this one but basically in these two books we follow i think it's like split into like four parts or something each part is a different character in this cafe and it's about them going back in time to a specific kind of moment or something or person to deal or something that's bothering them in the present but nothing that they do in the past will change what happens like in the present or the future i guess so it's really really interesting seeing how these characters deal with all these different things that they're going through and the things that they do so i'm excited to read this i may physically read it or i may listen to it on audio i'm not quite sure yet but i am excited to get to this one and hopefully i do enjoy it as much as the first book then i always put a poetry collection on my tbr every month so i know i've already spoken about the nikita gill one but that's for yelp so the poetry book i'm choosing for this month is another amanda lovelace which is unlock your storybook heart and this is her most recent poetry collection i am a fan of amanda lovelace's i do enjoy her poetry collections however the last i think two that i've read have not been my favorite so i'm hoping this one is much better her poetry collections are very kind of self-empowerment and like kind of female empowerment dealing with like toxic relationships and like a lots of kind of dark topics so they are quite triggering at times like i will warn people on that but i do really like her poetry collections and i love that they always have like little illustrations in them as well so i'm excited to read her most recent one and yeah i am hoping this one is better than the last one that i read we've got all of the graphic novels and manga i'm planning to read this month i'm hoping i get to these so i have volumes one to five of a Hara ride on here and i'm hoping that i can get to these this is kind of like a cute kind of romance story set in a school and i did read volume one maybe last year but I'm going to reread it and then I want to read the rest. I do own up to volume 9 and then all the other volumes in the series except for volume 10. So if you know I can get this one volume, please let me know. I cannot find it anywhere and I want to read all of them. So that's why I'm only reading till number 5 for now. Um, but yeah, this is just a really, really cute manga series. It's like a romance and just really heartwarming. So I'm excited to hopefully get to it. And then the other manga I have on here is Two Junji Itos. Now, I don't know which one I will read. I may read both or only one. I was leaning more so towards this. I haven't actually started it yet. Um, but I've got Gaio, I think is how you pronounce it, which is a horror manga and one of Junji Ito's most famous ones, which is why I do finally want to get to it. And on the back it says, The floating smell of death hangs over the island. What is it? A strange legged fish appears on the scene. It begins Tadashi and Kaori's spiral into the horror and stench of the sea. Here is the creepiest masterpiece of horror manga ever from the creator of Uzumaki, Junji Ito. Hold your breath until all is revealed. So, yeah, this sounds really creepy. Very excited. Basically, Junji Ito writes horror manga. So if you don't like horror, then I would not recommend recommend any of their manga but I'm excited to read this one because it's one of their most famous ones and I haven't gotten to it yet and then I also have a Frankenstein by Junji Ito on my TBR so I may pick this up I don't know for sure I always want to save this for October and then I never end up reading it this is basically Junji Ito's take on Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and I definitely am interested in reading that so yeah maybe I will pick this one up instead we shall see but I'm trying to read at least one Junji Ito a month and they are my two options that I may go with and then the last book on my TBR is a graphic novel which appeared on my previous TBRs which is Mooncakes I just still haven't gotten to it I really don't know why but hopefully this month is the month and yeah this is basically a really cute paranormal romancy story and I believe it's very similar to like Heartstopper in terms of like how heartwarming and cozy it is so I'm hoping that I do enjoy it but yeah that is everything on this month's tbr a very big tbr as always like i said this month is super busy i am going to be in london for five days i'm going to be at yalk i'll be socializing catching up with friends and so on so i will not be doing a lot of reading there and then i have a lot of work in the bookstore so i don't know how much time i will actually have to read during this month but i do have a readathon coming up with my patrons so hopefully i can get through some of these books during that but that is pretty much everything I'm planning to read. I will hopefully just pick some of the books out of here and get through some of them. But we shall see. I will potentially be doing a wrap up at the end of the month. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. But yeah, let me know in the comments what books are on your TBR this month. 
which of these books you have read or what you thought of them and leave a yellow love heart in the comments if you did make it this far and please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it i will have all of these books listed in the description box along with the link to my patreon so that's where you can find the spoiler filled reading vlogs for guild and for my killer vacation you can also find extra content from me there anyway so there'll be other videos on there my library tour is on there there's reading vlogs on there there's a live shows there's a discord where we chat we do a monthly readathon and buddy read and there's loads of other things on there so if you'd like to see any of that you can head Head over to my patreon but yes everything will be linked down below thank you guys so much for watching this video i really do hope that you enjoyed it and that you are interested in some of the books i have mentioned yes i hope you guys are all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>